I'm Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Today we're going to make a low carb ham and cauliflower casserole. Now I've made this a few times before but I've always used fresh cauliflower. Well this time I am going to take frozen cauliflower and I'm going to make it. So we're going to find out together if it's just as good as the other. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So I have my um, cauliflower, I thought it out and I'll tell you cauliflower thought out is very smelly. It really is. And you're gonna find it is softer. It's a lot softer here. And so what I did was I put it in my colander to drain out the water and you can see that I do have some water here. So I'm just gonna take this, this was a head of cauliflower that I chopped up into small pieces. So I think because I'm using it frozen this time. My pieces are small because when it's the regular ones and you steam them, if you got fresh and you steam them, um, we like it, we kind of mash it a bit when it's almost done. So I think this will work in this situation. So I'm just going to set that aside and then I've got um, four ounces of cream cheese and I have three quarter cup of sour cream and it's 14% sour cream. So I'm just going to take it and put it in this bowl here and make sure you want to soften up your your um, cream cheese. So my oven's on so I just kind of let it sit by the vent there and let it warm up or you could put it in the microwave just to make it a bit softer. So I'm just going to add in my three-quarter cup of cream cheese or sorry my sour cream and it's 14% and I'm going to mix this together. So it's going to take me a couple minutes to do this. Now that took a little bit of work. I think what I should have done was my um, cream cheese, you know, made it mix it really well by itself first to smooth it out or use your electric mixer. Um, I think that would have been a lot quicker than what it, for the amount of time it took me to put this together. So now we're going to add two tablespoons of shredded Parmesan and we're going to add a quarter cup of chopped, finely chopped yellow onion, the white onion there. So let's mix this all together. Perfect. Now if you were using the fresh cauliflower, I'm going to repeat myself, you would have cut it into smaller pieces and steamed them or boiled them in a little bit of salt water until you had them um, cooked. Not thoroughly cooked but softer so that you can mash them up a little bit. It's almost like chunky mashed potato um, but because I am using the um, frozen and I thawed out we're just doing it a little bit different. So I'm just going to set that aside just for a minute and I took my cauliflower and I just sat it in my bowl here and I just took my little um, gadget here and I'm just kind of mushing it up a little bit just so I don't have great big chunks. So let's get my Pyrex dish and I'm going to pour in the cauliflower just get these little pieces out of here and remember wash your hands before you do all this stuff which I have I'm just kinda giving you a reminder and now we're going to take our mixture that we have and we're gonna put it in here and we're gonna stir it all up don't want to miss any of it. So we're just going to mix this all up. Now we're going to add two cups of um, small cubed ham. Now I had some ham left over from when I uh, made my broccoli and ham soup so I'm just going to fold this in and mix it all up. So I'm just going to take a little bit of 
pepper. If you have fresh ground pepper, that would be awesome, but I don't. So I'm just putting a little bit of pepper in there, mixing it up. You could have done all this in the, the bowl. I don't know why I was silly and I wasn't thinking and I wasn't going to retape. So, and then pour it into the, the Pyrex dish that you're, the ovenware dish that you're going to cook it in. So now I'm just going to smooth this out and I have some, my cheese, cheddar cheese that I have is, is medium. You can use old, you can use my, mild, that's up to you. But I have three quarter cup shredded medium cheddar cheese. And we're gonna sprinkle this all on top. We're gonna put it in the oven at 350 for approximately 35 minutes. And then we'll let it sit for a few minutes so it can absorb the extra moisture. And I'm praying that this is all gonna work because I've only used fresh cauliflower, not frozen, but we're gonna experiment with the frozen this time. Because cauliflower is getting expensive right at the moment. I've done some recipes recently and I've had a bunch of it frozen in the freezer and forgot about it. So I thought, let's give this a try and see how it works. So in the oven, 350 for about 35 minutes. So here is my low carb ham and cauliflower casserole. It's quite delish. Mm -hmm. Very rich and it worked quite well with the frozen um, cauliflower. So if you're saving some in the freezer, use it because it worked really, really well. So if you go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, you can try this recipe and try some of my others. You take care and I'll see you next week. Bye now.